Well, that escalated quickly. A few days ago, I put out a video about Don Lamont and his panel of dickheads and their infantile attack on any American that supports Donald Trump. And since then, it's rightfully blown up, with Wajat Ali instantly playing the victim on Twitter. Then you got Rick Wilson doubling down on his idiocy, and now we have Don Lemon deflecting blame right back onto Rick Wilson, while denying any malice or bigotry, of course. And one final note that I have for you. <laughs> and one final note that I have for you. And one final note that I have for you. This is personally important to me. Anyone, ask anyone who knows me, they'll tell you. I don't believe in belittling people. Oh no, Don Lemon. Nobody would ever accuse you of being uncivil, despite your own rampant incivility. Ask anyone who knows you. How would I go about doing that? Why would I go about doing that? Lamont is so fake, and his response reminds me of what you might hear from a little kid if you accuse them of something. Your entire job is belittling the Democrat Party political opposition. You sit there every night with your smug expression and treat anybody to the right of Karl Marx as a subhuman monster. I'm not even going to bother going through the rest of his pathetic excuse. All he does is deflect blame onto Rick Wilson, which is hilariously what the other guy did too. Trump tweeted our CNN clip from two days ago. Friends are now concerned about my safety. I refuse to be intimidated and bullied by bad faith actors who cry fake victimhood. Whining about a harmless, silly 30 second clip while endorsing Trump, a cruel vulgarian who debases everyone. He's literally guilty of everything he's accusing others of. But back to Don Lamont and his claim that he doesn't belittle people. <laughs> Seeing how Lamont is totally fact-based, I'm sure we won't find any examples of him belittling people. No, I'm joking. There's tons of examples. How about the time he went on The Late Show and accused Trump supporters of being fearful racists who didn't want to lose their non-existent white privilege? Every single study and survey shows that this was about um, people who were losing power, losing influence. It was about race. When you are used to sort of having your way in the world reflecting who you are and what you want when the plane even if when the playing field is being leveled it can feel like discrimination or the time that he claimed trump supporters are worse than he is then there was that time he attacked teachers who want to be armed as nonsensical aren't you all so happy that we have this guiding light of sensibility in don lamon oh yeah remember when he claimed that critics of the parkland anti-second amendment students were the bad guys they have a right to do okay. this, but I also think that we, if you criticize yeah. some of what they're saying, then all of a sudden you're the bad guy, but you, if you- You are the bad guy. No. Yes, I don't, you I, are. I you that are. Or that time when he described Trump supporters as people who would lie to their mothers, steal, and cheat. The list goes on and on. I mean, seriously, I could make an hour-long video of all the times that Don Lamont smugly demonized the people that he's in political opposition to. The fact is, Lamont is a paid political propagandist who says what he's paid to say and is very open about his biases. Hey, thanks for watching. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. If you like my shirt, head on over to my Teespring store and check out our new designs. If you want to support this channel and get something back for it, that's a great way to do it. You can also support me on Patreon, subscribe, star or paypal all the links are in the description or pinned comment thanks for watching keep coming back